So I'm going to show you this demo, and and I just want you to watch it and then tell me what you think. There's a world of content online that we share, but the screens we're watching it on just weren't meant for groups. Yahoo Connected TV uses the biggest screen in your home, your TV, to show the best the internet has to offer and the best room in the house. You can use any device with Yahoo Connected TV to see your favorite movies, TV shows, and internet content on demand. It's as close as your remote. A single press opens a dock where you add TV widgets from Yahoo and your favorite internet and media sites. Keep up with the latest news and sports. Go shopping, play games, or listen to music. Update your status or share your photos and videos with friends and family. Select from over 50,000 TV shows and movies. Vote on your favorite shows and interact with friends while watching TV. And you can do it all from your living room. How do you get Yahoo Connected TV? Buy a TV from Toshiba, Vizio, LG, Samsung, Sony, or Hisense with the Yahoo logo or get a Yahoo Connected TV device that works with your existing TV. Yahoo Connected TV, the best of the web, made for TV. Wow, I'm impressed. You're impressed. I am impressed. So tell me more about that. That's just so cool. Leave it to Yahoo to come up with that thing. But anyway, <coughs> <coughs> I see you know, what they're doing. I think it's nice okay. because, you know, rather than sitting looking at your phone like this or sitting in front of the computer where sometimes my husband will call me and look at this, you know, and both of us trying to sit and look. And I mean, we have a fairly good sized computer screen, but both of us sitting and look, trying to see the computer screen. Yes, I can see how this would definitely be beneficial. Okay. So you like the integration into the bigger screen? Yes. Okay. You, you know, that does have some appeal. Uh, just simply because my wife and I, um, that's one of the things we're doing as far as looking at our next computer upgrade. We've got like three laptops and they're not networked. You know, nothing's, every couple of different hard drives, kind of a mess. But that was one of the things would be to, um, you know, have inter internet access through our TV, our, our one TV <laughs> in our living room. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Is that something you'd be interested in? Yeah, I'd like to learn more about it, you know, as far as just to see how it works. Um, I've never been able to get my computer to hook into my TV, to be able to stream things. I'm, I'm not, you know, that's why I, we still have the cable mm -hmm. and just so that we can watch all that. So I'll be interested to know exactly what I'm going to be able to watch and then learn more about some of the other features. I know they're talking about um, pictures and video. Mm -hmm. So I would be interested to learn a little bit more about it. Uh, but yeah, I, I am interested in it. Okay. And more interesting? Well, yes and no. Um, the Emmys itself bored me, and I didn't know any shows nominated because we don't watch any of the shows. Okay. However, we stream a lot of music concerts on the computer or on the TV all the time. So if it was around content that was more interesting to me, then yes, that something like this would be neat if I was interacting with others watching the concert I was watching at the same time. Okay. Something like that would be very interesting. Okay. So it would depend on the content. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So Absolutely. If it's interesting content or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. You yeah. notice it took up like a portion of the screen? Yeah. Would you expect it to do that or to take up the entire screen or how do you think that would work? I was like just a portion. Just a portion. Yeah. Okay. And would you have TV in the background or would it be? No, it would be panned over so it would just be the full screen right there. And then... Okay. So it would move the TV? Yeah. In the general. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was quick. That came up really quick. That was nice. Stop playback. Let's stop that one. Is this and let's just let's just explore what we've got going on. Like okay. down here, revision, yeah. finance, TV guide. That's cool. I might want to look at that. Who plus? I would look at that. Mm -hmm. That looks like the same symbol here, so I would want to look at that. Okay. Blockbuster. I would look at that too. Yahoo Connected TV is about providing consumers internet-enhanced television. What that means is consumers get quick and easy access to the internet content they browse every day while they're watching TV. That could be information related to the show they're watching or access to their favorite updates from Facebook like their status, photos, or videos. 
Yahoo is different from other solutions in the marketplace in three key areas. One is to design how consumers relate to content while they're watching TV. Consumers multitask. They're watching a program and they want to check on things on their notebook or phone and to see what's going on with, from their friends or from the world around them. So because of our dock, you actually press one button on the remote, you actually watch what's going on and check your favorite apps without actually missing any of the program you're watching. Number two is that it provides you quick and easy access to not only Yahoo properties like news, weather, finance, and Flickr, but also uh, those from third parties. For example, you can even get your AT&T Yellow Pages right there on your TV and check, for example, where the local uh, provider is you might want to product or a service from. The other interesting thing is you can also access uh, things such as the Wall Street Journal. Uh, keep up to date on the finance news, given all the things that are going in finance today. Want to know what the latest news is from the marketplace? You can access four hours of programming directly through the Wall Street Journal app. And the third area is that with broadcaster activity, which we announced in January, it's a great new enhancement where we actually relate the content directly to what you're watching. So we can quickly, in a sense, serve content to the consumer that's related to what they're watching, such as a TV show, such as a sporting match, such as a advertisement. So we can provide them related content and allow them to engage with that in real time. Yahoo's been out in the market since 2009. There are about 16 million TVs. By end of uh, 2011, they'll be out in the marketplace. There's about 8 million at the end of 2010. So we're growing at about a doubling rate, about a 2x rate on a year-to-year basis. So we have a huge install base, and we're in 135 countries. Now, from a connect rate and from a usage rate, it varies by OEM and by country, just based upon the different behaviors that we have in different countries around the world. If we look at the U.S. market, our, our connect rate has been around up to 70% across the different devices. And it's kind of highly dependent upon how the TV device was packaged. Did it have Wi-Fi embedded? That provides consumers kind of easy access to connect it. But once they connect it, we have a high usage rate. So up to about 60% of consumers that purchase a device with our platform in it will actually use it on a monthly basis. So we think we have actually the best consumer adoption numbers in the industry. Yahoo Connect TV has been successful so far because of our relentless pursuit of what the consumer wants in the living room experience. and focused on how they consume content, not in a sense how they do it on the PC or, or mobile phone, but also adapting as things change. So along with broadcast interactivity, we announced device communication, which allows the tablet and phone to actually interact with the television. So now we can use the advanced features like gestures and navigation to be able to actually have interactive content go between those different devices. So now we've encapsulated those into the consumer experience. So as people want to, in a sense, use their tablet for pursuing content, we can target content based upon that device's capabilities. And for example, flip videos from their tablet to their TV. So now you have all those devices interacting together. So that's called listening to the consumer, seeing how things develop, and then modifying your platform to address that. The other thing is that because of the fact that we've been focused on the way the consumers consume content and bringing everything to the front and giving people quick access, our adoption rates have been really high. We now actually get, as long as the device is connected, we've had a very stable user base.